Hello. I'm alive already. You're alive already. Good. I want to wish my friends a really happy Easter. And I can say that because in Germany, Monday is still Easter. It's still a holiday. So, hope you had a great time. And, yeah. And what, else, what other special day is it today? It's my mom's 84th birthday. Congratulations, Diddy. Yeah. We call her Diddy, but she's not called Diddy. No, she's not called Diddy. Mrs. Poller. Yeah. And they are having a gay party. It lost with all the children but me. Oh. Oh. Did you want to go in? No. <laughs> you couldn't get into the garden anyway, could you? No. I needed a strong guy to carry me over. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you know what else I found out? Oh, what? I haven't even told you that, really. I said a little bit about it, but I don't like to eat animals anymore. You don't like to eat animals anymore? So if any one of you has a nice vegetarian recipe, just feed all the vegetables to the pig and then have bacon. Uh, I was thinking if I found uh, a dead pig on the side of the street or somewhere else, mm -hmm. I would say, bah, I would need it. What about insects? If the... Like a crispy cockroach. Or oh, fried slug. Nah. No. Well, they're animals as well, aren't they? No. Nah. Yeah, but. Guessing. What's the reason why you don't want to eat animals? Is it just like you just can't think they think that it's right anymore? Yeah. It's exactly then. I mean, we have been uh, buying the higher welfare animal products, haven't we? Yeah, but still, if I think it's an animal, it, um, it doesn't taste the same. Yeah, but Serrano ham and crispy bacon, they don't yeah. look like animals, do they? Let's see, I'm just thinking. Mm -hmm. But you want to eat more vegetarian anyway, so if anybody's got a vegetarian recipe, yeah. you can send it to Christina at my email address, me at timothydowd.com. Send it to him, because he got the cookies anyway. <laughs> well, unless it's like, get a piece of lettuce, dip it in some oil and vinegar and shove it in Christina's gob. <laughs> it wouldn't be enough, I guess. Well, two slices then. I want to see if you eat like a rabbit too. <laughs> but... would also be okay, although it's, it comes from a animal too. Yeah, you don't have to kill them to get the milk, do you? Yeah. Uh -oh, see, There's pigeons are saying thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Wouldn't I have eaten you anyway? Pigeon pie? Uh. Oh, there we go for that. So, what have you been doing the last, it's been two weeks since we interviewed you, isn't it? Or even Is three? It? Where have you been? What have you been doing? Time flies. I can't even imagine. All of a sudden, it's Saturday breakfast again. And the whole week's gone. That's true. Yeah, but... Yeah, but what, no, but... What did we do? Not a lot, really. It's by Kniebanter. Yeah, we did balcony banter. 
and uh, with Danny. Danny was here, yeah. It was pretty interesting. Did you go for your CAT scan? Have you told everybody about your CAT scan? I think I did, didn't I? Because I, I said I'm the only one that can move. you got a brain, yeah? Because I've got a brain. Uh huh. But is it working is the question, yes? I mean, you, know, you might have a picture of your brain, but... Yeah, it's not working the way it used to do. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Mine neither. Yeah. So tonight's meet up Monday, but we're not going out, are we? I mean, I might go out, but I'm not taking you because no. nobody registered. Nobody registered. Okay. Yeah, you still got time to think it over. That's true. What time is it now? About 3.51 in the afternoon. Four. Four o'clock. Almost four. Time Wait. code here says 3.52 and six seconds. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, it's 3.53 now. Mr. No-It-Oi. Mr. no it Well, it just says it in front of me, that's all. I'm not... I'm just seeing what time it is. So what else? What books have you been reading lately? I'm reading George o Orwell's 1982. 1982, is that two years before 1984? And 1984. And what was the book you read before that? Another George Orwellian book, wasn't it? Yeah, The Animal Farm. Animal Farm. Was the, what was the horse called? Was it Boxer? I think so. I can't remember See, now. See, I have even forgotten that. Oh dear. So I listened to it just three weeks ago. <laughs> well, I don't remember books because I like like listening to them and, and being in the moment with the books. Yeah. And then, you know, let them wash over me, but I don't have to remember them. The good thing is you can read them again. It happens to me too and I look at my list and I think, oh, that's interesting. I have a look, what's it about and things, and I'm about to order it, and then it says it's already in your bibliotheque. <laughs> so I must have read it before. Well, it's a good job you, you're, you're uh, confirming your taste. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been getting these books for many years now. I know, we? we started in Germany, didn't we? Yeah. Years and years ago. In fact, we still got the old account that, that's, that's registered in Germany. They wanted us to change to the Amazon account, but we didn't want to do that because we would have had to change to the Spanish version. And I'm not good enough to listen to Spanish books. You are? I just tried now, I listen to the same book in German and in Spanish. Two foreign languages then. And, the, <laughs> and then I listen to a chapter in German first and then in Spanish. That's cool. Because I don't understand it if I just listen to the Spanish one. But we never go out and meet Spanish people anymore, do we, apart no. from doctors and stuff? Only doctors, so I should read doctors' books. <laughs> the law of the cabeza. Uh -huh. <laughs> the adventures of the headache. So, what's the weather like? It, we have, we're having a calima, and it's really, really hot. It's uh, 28 in the shade. Gonna be here because otherwise it won't be focused. <laughs> you don't have to smile next to it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was feeling quite vulnerable yesterday. Uh -huh. and it was all boogy and. <laughs> I was up at the shops, but in a decky town, it was 35 in the shade there. That was like a a hairdryer to your face. It was, but down here it was 28. All day, every day. 
So what's happening this week? We've got uh, no meet up Monday today, so that's a bit of we're staying home for dinner, aren't we? We're not going out for to eat. Uh, we were going to, but they're closed on Monday, so I've got to rethink about that one. Uh, Wednesday's balcony banter, and Friday. If anybody's in the village, they want to come and say hello. I'll be faffing around again. Probably not Little Germany this time, though. Oh, I'll go somewhere else. Getting fed up a Little Germany, aren't they? So, Animal Farm and George Orwell, you're reading. I suppose most people know the, the story of those. It is a love story, isn't it, 1984? Yeah. Sort of. Cool, dude. Written in 1948, was it? Very old, very old. Very old. So but wait. it should be called 2030. Uh-huh. Because 84 was nothing like that. No. But uh, things are coming true now, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I just got to do the the opposite and register with DM25. D-I-E-M-25. Look it up. Anyway, so the Kalima has made Lagomera disappear, but uh, the Easter holidays, people are in the pool. What's, uh, you don't go swimming anymore, do you? No. What would I have to do? For, for you to go swimming again. Get me a, a proper rubber ring. Yeah. One that fits you under your yeah. arms and stuff, yeah? What about water wings? Adult water wings, not no. kiddie stuff. No. So the real stuff, no? We'll see. And a new swimming cosy. With French leg. No! <laughs> So people sometimes think, think that helps that sort of stuff. Uh huh. But when you're old, you're old. That's true. Doesn't matter if you have a French leg or not, does it? Yeah. You can have frog's legs, it doesn't really matter. And it's always better to be mates. Naked. Yep. So what else you got to say? Been on 13 minutes and 29 seconds. Oh, that's quite long. Uh-huh. What the hell is I to say? This does the thing again. When I said to you, I thought, no, I have a lot to tell today. I'm a bit out back. <laughs> All gone. What about your daughter? I talked to her today. And your granddaughter? Talked to her as well. She's talking a lot. Uh huh. How many languages? Two and a half. Two and a half. English, German, and Twee, is it? I'm not sure. I think the kind of language is quite different. Gonja. Go over there. Come your language. Well, there you go. It's four o'clock now, so I'd better go and have a shower. Anything you want to say before you go? I want to say... Have a great time. And think about some vegetarian things. And... You might win the prize. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You heard it here first. Christina's prize. That would, in that would interest me. <laughs> <laughs> Say to our Chris. To our Chris. <laughs> and we're out. See you soon. Bye. Bye.